boom. Yep. Oh, wow. When you show the images of the Sphinx to AI, it spits out nine to 12,000 years old as the age of the Sphinx. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a convenient way to... <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't believe in AI. And I think like that's just the beginning, though. I feel like when you start to survey the entire surface of the planet of the Earth with LIDAR, ground penetrating radar, and you know, you start to like get sonar on the coast and you start to just feed all the satellite imagery that we have of the Earth into, into AI and you say, look, tell me about the history of the Earth from a geological standpoint. Like, what happened? I feel like it, it, it ought to be able to paint a fairly accurate picture within the next couple of years. And so, and I think we are just on the threshold developing entirely new models of, of the Earth, global change, the history of the planet. And where to me is so fascinating and relevant is when we start understanding the nature the extent of global change during the period of time that we humans, modern humans, have inhabited this planet. And it's been extraordinary.